Thank you. This is Phineas and Ferb take two. A series created only for one season. It's a talk show with cartoon characters, with each episode having a different celebrity involved. This show has many different spin-offs, such as Disney's Phineas and Ferb The Best Live Tour Ever, Phineas and Ferb Musical Cliptastic Countdown, Phineas and Ferb Star Wars, and Spot the Diff. Now, as we all know, none of these are canon, although they do take an important role in the Phineas and Ferb series. Well, today I'm going to be checking out, are any of these spin-offs worth the watch? This movie is awesome. I will link down below to an amazing video review of this. It's a parody musical of Star Wars. The main reason is awesome is just look at the intro. Moisture farmers. Can, can, yeah, can, can you do it faster? Faster? Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. funny, funnier yeah. if possible. Oh, faster. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Episode 4A, may the fur be with you! No, 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 forget, forget the funny. Yeah, just go faster. All right. Episode 4, a weakness. And none of this is canon, so just relax. You know, I kind of feel like this moves towards the 2D dimension movie of this, where this could be one of the alternate dimensions in Dr. Deuce Dimensionator. We also get to learn more about the scenes in the original Star Wars. For example, all in conclusion, this is greatly recommended and I advise you to watch it. It's on Disney Plus. On to the next one is a new release, Candice Against the Universe. This movie really shows Candice's emotions on how she feels about Phineas and Ferb's inventions. This shows Candice fighting her struggles. For the first time, she tells her brothers about how she feels, which we usually don't see in the series. Every day, I get beaten down by the universe. I just feel so defeated. And then, Vanessa, Deuce's daughter, rides over and asks her therapy worthy questions candace oh hey vanessa i thought that was you is this your house yep my house of pain what's wrong just the usual my brothers get away with some big ridiculous thing and yet somehow i'm the crazy one the film is more about candace than any other character but it would be kind of weird to leave phineas and fur about the story hence that's what the whole show is based upon Otherwise, it would just be called Candice Against the Universe. This movie allows Candice to have a purpose in life, instead of just busting her brothers and seeking her mum's attention all the time. At least now she feels special in her own way. The scene that is awesome is when everything bad is going on. Instead of telling her mum to look there, she doesn't, simply for her protection. Whoa, this movie is great. After Phineas gives her a present, she finally connects with them and saves the universe from aliens. This movie is highly recommended. It was also made 2020, so that's pretty recent. Can we also give a clap to Perry for saving their lives multiple times without being seen? He really is the invisible hero. Phew, okay. As this channel is turning into a commentary channel based on one show, don't worry, I will talk about other shows. If you guys have any suggestions of shows or movies you want me to review, please comment down below. Also, 35% of you guys are not subscribed, so please, if you could and you do enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe. I'd just really like to say thank you for the people that watched to the end. And for you guys, I'll hide your comment. Just type theory in the comments below, and I will obviously know that you've watched till the end. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.